Hey guys and welcome to Live Russian Cursive! If you made it to this video, congratulations! It's the last video of the series where we learn how to write in Russian using writing practice sheets. You may download them from the video description. We learned the letters up to H and today we are starting with the letter C. The letter C looks like the letter E, actually, and has the sound very fast ts. But to the letter E we add a little tail. So E plus a tail gives us the letter ts. The lowercase is the same as E with the tail. So let's practice it in words. Read it first and then I will read it. So like this you will practice reading Russian handwriting. Цирк. Цирк. Circus in Russian. Let's try with the lowercase, but we will see how it's connected with the letters when it's in the middle of the word. Try to read again. The word is Акцент, and you see, I connect K with C up there. Let's try one more time. And here we will have even two letters C. Try to read the word. Pizza. Pizza. Pay your attention to the connection. It's right here. And now we are getting to the letter Ч. The letter Ч looks a little bit like the letter У. Let's remember the letter У. It's like this. But the tail of the letter Ч goes backwards instead of up front. Here you connect it with other letters. Try to read this word. Chas. Chas. So this is the capital letter. And this word is Chai, chai. The lowercase looks pretty much like the English R letter, yeah? R. So just remember R is ch. <laughs> and practice more, for example, with the word dacha. Dacha. You should know this word, it's Russian countryside house, yeah, with a garden. And one more word, час, using the lowercase. So I hope it's clear and we are getting to the letter ша, ша. You write it like E, but you continue. One, two, Three. Three movements and you have the letter Sh. Let's practice. This letter gives the sound Sh. Try to read this word. Shuba. Shuba. The lowercase is almost the same, but pay attention to the connection. So, how do we connect the letter Sh with others? First, let's write this word шар. And now let's look how it's connected with the letters when it's in the middle of a word. So read with me. Ха-ра-шо. And connection is right here up. Mm -hmm. To not mix up with M, for example. And as you know, there is one more letter that sounds almost like Sh. It's the letter 
Sha Sha. Um, when writing, we just add a little tail, like to the letter C we did, yeah? And we get the letter Sha. Let's practice right now using some new words. And this is our letter Sha. So we start like the letter E, but we continue and we add a little tail to the letter Sha. Okay, let's start with a word. She, famous Russian cabbage soup. She. And let's write one more soup to see how the lowercase is connected to other letters. So read with me. Borsh. Borsh. This is Russian famous soup with beetroot. One more word to practice connection. The word is long, so read with me. I'm giving you some time. Прощение. Again, notice how I connected O and Ш. Right here. Okay, now we are getting to three letters that don't have capital letter, just the lowercase. It means that words can't start with them. The first one is the hard sign. If you want to know more about the hard sign, watch my videos about hard and soft signs. And let's read these two words. Seal and seal. You see how hard sign is written. We are starting like the letter C, yeah? But we make this circle. Hard sign often goes before ye, yo, and ya. So let's look at this word. Объект. Объект. And let me show you how it goes with ya, although we didn't learn this letter yet, but look how it's connected with ya. Is yan. Объект is yan. Mm -hmm. We will get to the letter Ya a little bit later. The next letter is U, famous U sound. If you are still struggling with the pronunciation, watch my video about it. As you see, this letter is tricky to write, maybe. Looks like E, but not so much E, yeah? So practice, and that's how it's connected to the letters. Let's read together. Был, была. Mm -hmm. You see, we connect other letters with ы up there. Мы, вы, ты. Mm -hmm. And one more word. Read it with me. Sir. Don't forget to connect it up there. The soft sign, which looks like the hard sign, but without this tail. Yeah, like che tail. <laughs> That's how we write it. We connect it on the top with the previous letter. Let's practice. Read with me. Yest. Yes, you see how it flows. Don't forget this we don't need. This tail is not needed. Okay, one more word. Read with me. Pet. Pet. Mm -hmm. To sing. Pet. And look how we connect it with L. Dal, dal. Again, we go up there. And the word bol, sh, 
toy. Here we can practice sh and soft sign. Look how I connect the soft sign with sh. You may not connect it at all. It's possible. If you don't want, just don't make this connection. Write sh just next to the soft sign, if you'd like. The next letter is e. e. The capital letter and the lowercase are the same, so it makes it simpler. But let's look at the connection. We can make it like this. Yeah, we make a little link between E. Let's look at the capital letter and the next letter T in this case. Yeah, but you are allowed not to make any link. If you want, just don't make it. Look how it flows when I write do it. Yeah, U and E are together, but to connect it with T, it, it looks a little bit inconvenient. So you may write it like this, pa et with the connection or without it. Let's look at it. Just without it. Pa etamu. Pa etamu. You see, I didn't connect E and T. The next letter is letter U. We are getting to the end and U is not difficult to write. We start like the letter N, yeah? But we add this big circle. Yug, Yug. One more word with U, which is famous Russian name. Read it with me. You see how I connect U and R. Yuri. I add this little connection. Yuri. The lowercase looks like the capital letter. More or less. Yeah. And look how I connect it again. Up there. Iyun. Iyun. That's how we... Right lowercase isolated and one more word again EU and here it's EUL again you may not use connection just write the letter L next to U it's also acceptable as you like and finally the last letter is the letter YA YA I prefer to write it the same the capital letter and the lower case. Yana is a female name. Let's write one more word with a big one. It just should be bigger, yeah, than other letters, so you know that it's the capital letter. Read it with me. Япония, Япония. Mm -hmm. One more word with я to see how it's connected with other letters. So, моя, моя. Here it's in the end. Моя. If you write fast, you may uh, not connect like I did just here. I wrote ya next to o. It's still understandable that it's maya. Yeah, we can't confuse it with other letters. And one long word here to practice some of the letters we've learned and just to practice reading Russian cursive. Read with me. Italianski. Italianski, Italian. Okay, we are finished, guys. Congratulations! And here in the end, you may see a phrase which uses all of the letters we learned. So practice this phrase, try to read it yourself, try to translate it, and write me in the comments what does this phrase mean. <laughs> That's it. See you!